superheroes hide their true identity and bring evildoers to justice. But costume crime fighters don't exist only in the pages of comic books. Every one of these superheroes is a real person lurking in the shadows in some of our biggest cities. You need help, uh, we're, we're out there. You know, you may not know that we're out there. On the streets of Sacramento, our superhero is Mutinous Angel. That's what you guys really need to know. We're, we're there to protect you. On this Saturday night, Mutinous Angel came out at midnight, cruising the streets, walking back alleys, looking for trouble and prepared to stop it. This is, uh, this is, provides good protection. I mean, it'll help me when I'm being hit or somebody tries to stab or use a knife. I mean, I can use this as protection. He has put himself in harm's way, stopping robberies and assaults and leading police to a hit and run suspect, mostly in the Bay Area. On this night in Midtown, Mutinous Angel was worried about the safety of two young women who moved their party to the trunk of a car on a dark street. And their car drinking outside, you know, the way they're dressed and everything, that's pretty much, uh, those are potential victims. They can really uh, attract the, the wrong kind of people. Mutinous Angel stayed out of sight, but kept a watchful eye. He carries no weapons, but he's trained in martial arts. The gear he wears not only provides protection, but it hides his identity and makes him appear more intimidating. I've walked down the streets before, just confidently walking toward people, and they just all back away. Mutinous Angel is one of a dozen real-life superheroes who patrol mostly in the Bay Area, occasionally in Sacramento, and now Stockton is on their radar. We will definitely go to Stockton. That is a plan that we we're intending on. If you are going to go to Stockton, you're going to go as a group, not just yeah, group by course, yourself. Yeah, of course. The superheroes are careful not to interfere with cops. Mutinous changed his original gear because it looked too much like a SWAT officer. They think that we're trying to be either a terrorist or we're one of them, so they can't identify us, so we added a little color to our gear. Real life superheroes don't pretend to have superpowers. Their bodies won't stop a bullet. But some carry pepper spray or a taser and a cell phone to call 911. And they know that you might think they're a little strange. Absolutely, I think it is weird. I think it's crazy. I think we're fools for what we do. But if it helps out, I mean, it helps out. We're doing what's right. We passed one man walking alone who was startled by the sight of Mutinous Angel. But he found the superhero a little reassuring. I think they can do some good. Yeah, I think they can do some good. But don't count on Mutinous Angel to be there when you're in trouble. A real life superhero can only be in one place at one time. He prefers to stay in the shadows until someone needs help. To be honest, I, I don't like doing media either. And I mean, that's, I'm just really trying to stay underground. I don't want to be known. But he does hope to make the streets a little safer and inspire others to take up the cause and the mask of a real life superhero. <laughs>